Welcome again to Ramping Up Your English. I'm John Letts, and this is segment two of episode 33, and it's our first episode in our new unit, which is animals. So welcome back into the studio. We'll be taking some more time out on the ranch a little bit later in this program and into a second program that we'll be doing on horses. Well, I wanted to tell you that um, in the segment we just watched, we got to see a series of things happening, and that's what we call a sequence. Well, what we'll do today is we'll use this opportunity of getting a horse ready to ride, getting them all saddled up. We'll use that as an opportunity to practice and ramp up our sequencing skills today. So at the early intermediate level, what we learn to do is to take important steps and put them in order and then use some very important sequencing words between each step. Now we often begin our sequence with the word first. It clues our listener or reader that we're about to list some steps in order. So here we see first we groom the horse. Now, we use the word next to indicate a step that follows. Next, we clean the horse's feet. We use the sequencing word then to indicate the step that follows the previous one. Then, we put on the saddle blanket. Now, when we reach the last step, we use the sequencing word finally. So as you can see here, finally, we put the saddle on and tighten it. Now we've gone beyond the beginning steps by being able to sequence these events and use these important words. Now we can ramp things up even further by using the words before and after. So rather than using the same pattern as before, we use the word before to put the steps in order in a new way. So here's how we wrote it this time. Before riding a horse, we get the horse prepared. We begin by grooming the horse. Now you notice this, this does us part of a sequence, but it's not the same kind of predictable sequence we, we've done before. So that makes it a little bit more advanced than what we've done before. Now, we use the word after to indicate which step comes next. So after grooming the horse, we carefully clean its hooves. Now, we can use the words prior to in the same way we used the word before. Prior to putting on the saddle, we cover the horse's back with the saddle blanket. Now, we can use the word after to complete the sequence as well. After completing the previous steps, now we're ready to lay the saddle on the horse. Now both examples are correct. There's no problem with either one of them. But the second example is indicative of a higher level of English proficiency. It could be either the intermediate or even the high intermediate level of English. So it's ramped up quite a bit from the basic level. So there's more than one way to write a sequence just like it's more than one way to ride a horse. We'll learn more about that when we return right after this. Is it true that ramping up your English is going to the dogs? Wendy. Yes, it is. And cats, horses, rabbits, geese, jaguars, and more. Join us in our new unit on animals. Ramping Up Your English is for intermediate English learners from all language backgrounds and all ages. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our new thematic unit is Animals. This science unit helps viewers advance in language functions that will stretch their English skills and learn a few things from dogs as well. Openness, trust, faithfulness, loyalty, playfulness, and more. The, the qualities that we as humans really do need to learn and to have in our lives on a daily basis because they deliver such beautiful rewards. Ramping up your English can be seen on the Ashland Home Network on channels 15 and 115. It's on channel 182 on Charter Cable in the rest of Southern Oregon. Join us for better English and a grand time with animals.
Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English. Well, we got to practice some sequencing skills just a moment ago, and those sequencing skills had to do with getting a horse ready to ride by putting on the saddle. Now, as you know, if you were a member of the posse and you had to go after the bank robber, you probably wouldn't take time to groom your horse, okay? But this is a sequence of events that's a good thing to do before riding a horse. Now, the action, the horse is all saddled up. There's a reason for that. So to see more and learn more about horses, let's go back to the ranch and learn more about horses.